Hello, everybody. My name is Brian Hull. I am humbled to say that I was named the 2018 Chick Colorado High School Teacher of the Year, along with this year's 2020 Shape America Central District High School Teacher of the Year. And I am very humbled, as I mentioned, along with very proud to be in the Shape America Teacher of the Year family. So in this video, first and foremost, what I am most excited about in this upcoming Teacher of the Year program and honorary year is that I'm excited for the new opportunities that are going to come my way now that I am a Teacher of the Year. I'm excited for the opportunities to be able to present at many conferences that I probably wouldn't have the chance to attend if I wasn't a Teacher of the Year. Um, secondly, I'm very excited about meeting new people, not only in the Shape America family, but physical education professionals across the country. And with that being said, I'm a really big people person in that I love talking to people and I can talk shop and physical, physical education all day. And I would love to share experiences that I've had. And I would love to hear experiences that others have had so that we can grow together professionally. Secondly, um, some of the tips that I have for people who are interested in applying for Teacher of the Year is first, definitely get to know the process. So that step would be to reach out to somebody in your state organization. So for me, that was Shit Colorado. Uh, before this whole process started, I didn't really know what the Teacher of the Year program was or even how to get involved with it. So the first step is to have somebody within your state organization nominate you for a Teacher of the Year. And if you accept that nomination, one of the biggest steps you'll have to experience is to write a pretty lengthy essay answering four or five question prompts from the state organization. Once you do that, um, you will have to submit letters of recommendation and your resume and other pertinent items. So along those lines, another piece of advice that I would have is to be really clear and concise in your essay, but also you really need to be specific so that the selection committee can get a really good snapshot on what you do on a daily basis as a phys physical education professional or along with what you've done in your last few years of teaching. Uh, similarly, I would also recommend that when you're all done and ready to submit your essay, to have a language arts professional to read it um, and scan it for spelling and grammatical errors. And last but not least, I know this is hard for a lot of us, but this is your one chance to brag about yourself. The selection committees really wanna see who stands out in terms of the experiences you've um, spotlighted for your students. And this can be a very great opportunity to do that within your essay and letters of recommendation that your professional colleagues uh, would need to write about you. And once you're done that with the state association part, if you win your state teacher of the year, then your opportunities for Shape America applications start up for you to try to put in to win for your Shape America district. Lastly, the main message I wanna share with others in my position of teacher of the year is, I wanna let everybody know that just because I teach at a really hard to serve and highly impacted school, it is possible and it is so important to give your students a highly quality phys physical education program and experience. I truly feel that every student in the world today deserves a excellent physical education experience. And I would be here to help anybody who may have questions on how to establish a high quality phys ed program, or maybe some tips and tricks to serve and teach students who are going through traumatic experiences like some of my students do that I'm currently teaching. Uh, again, I am so excited for this opportunity to introduce myself to all of you. And I look forward to hearing from many of you. Thank you.